you. What up? All right. Um. So, uh, we got season two, episode four of An Idiot Abroad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man. Season three. Uh, I mean, episode three was really dope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, and this. Uh, where's he going for? Uh, this is this is whale watching. Oh, he's going whale watching. <laughs> whale watching. I don't know what the fuck. Whale watching is dangerous too. Like, why yeah. are they? These are these are some dangerous activities. Carl's going on. Definitely. Now I know whales have capsided boats before. I've seen them swallow uh, kayaks before. Yeah. And then yeah. Hopefully he's on a bigger boat than a kayak. But, uh, hopefully. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, man. So and he didn't swim with the dolphins last episode. Not no, he didn't. To do. He didn't. So yeah, he might not be well watching. He might be going in a volcano yeah. or some shit. We don't know. <laughs> it's a bucket list, though. Yeah. Let's go, man. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. The bucket list. See the glaciers before they melt. Go on an African safari. Encounter the world's largest mammal. So he's going to be the seeing those things to do before you die. <laughs> those whales. It's things to do in your life. Easy boys. Easy boys. It's difficult. He was so suspicious after the last time. Uh, I will be too. Oh, <laughs> We've told him that he gets to choose from the list whatever he wants to do. This is doing me adding. But that doesn't mean that <laughs> there won't be a few packet. treats in store that he's not expecting. Fucking hell. This is a man who's reluctant. Is is this is a man there? who doesn't want to do <laughs> these things. No, let it happen. Yeah. No. It's making Carl do things that other people want to do before they die. Yeah, no, exactly. I don't yeah. Do that. This isn't his list. <laughs> that can't be real. That has to be CGI. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe Carl would get on a plane. Flying the fighter jet. Forget that. Not interested. Climbing a bridge. Forget that. Uh, let's see. In there. What are you choosing, Carl? Uh, whale watching. Okay, good choice. Why? Just whales. They're, they're amazing, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Whales. Biggest <laughs> sort of thing. Um, Their tongue is as big as an elephant. Damn. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? It'd be weird if it had a human one. Human sized. <laughs> so it's that big, and yet its tongue is human sized. I'd still want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> So, we'll send you to Alaska to whale watch. Would you be uh, interested in spending time with some Eskimos? Alaska. Or Inuit? No. Uh, you don't say Eskimo. It's a derogatory term. Who's come up with that little problem for them? I've never heard an Eskimo moan about that. Why are they going to be bothered? These people make up little rules. You can't call a midget a midget. They prefer dwarf. <laughs> oh, that Eskimos. What'll be that? Leprechauns don't like it. No, what? leprechauns don't <laughs> exist. No, but, but it's on the same line. Do not exist. It's the same thing, though. If they did, they go, don't call them that. They what do the leprechauns it. prefer to be called? Gnomes or... Leprechauns <laughs> 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 something... prefer to be called gnomes. So confused. Oh, God. Okay. It's, the same. it's never the person gnomes. who it is who's getting offended. It's always someone else. Right. Whale watching, yeah? <laughs> Good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> gnomes. <laughs> I think I moaned a lot I last time. When I saw it back, I was like, oh, I'm moaning. I think it's the heat. When you think about it, the countries that are always at war, Very kicking off, enough. it's always the hot ones. <laughs> it's because you get agitated. But I've never heard about an Eskimo kicking off. It's like they're just cool. I think the cold is going to be tricky, yeah, but I'll, I'll handle cold. it. I've got a special coat. I mean, it's not that great visually, to be honest. Looks if like it's a I'll probably miss it. Because it's, I mean, look, look at that. <laughs> you, got the good, you got the right clothing. <laughs> How are you feeling? A little bit jet lagged, a uh, little bit nippy. <laughs> but I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to it. You know, the, the whale thing is what I'm here for, isn't it? He's in the US. Welcome. Hello, mate, Steve here. Um, look, Ricky and I yeah, were talking, man. and um, we thought it'd be a bit of a shame if you didn't take in some of the local culture and uh, visit the Arctic Circle on your way to see the whales. I know how much you enjoy a good walk, so we've arranged for a nice chap to take you um, via the scenic route. Oh my All right? God. Okay, safe travels. Bye. <laughs> safe travels. Yeah. Bye. Let's be global warming. <laughs> Ice is melting and all that. It's 
There's loads of it. Hello. Marty. Yes, Marty Rainey. <laughs> Oh, man, you made over this well, kid. You must be Carl. Yeah, what? Right. Have you been shopping? <laughs> well, I bought some things for you back there. One of these sleds is me. Your pack oh, is on there. Man, the same pack that, that I have on. Let's feel the weight of that. Uh... Where are we going? <laughs> Do we honestly <laughs> need this? I think you're carrying a lot of extra. No, we need that. This is very serious business. It just <laughs> seems a bit like a lot of work to do just for a walk. OK, stop and listen. Uh, oh, I've noticed that when I was waiting like, for you. I, I noticed it's lovely and quiet. I love peace and quiet. You like the silence? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, like spiritual. Well, that's yeah. what I was going to say. It's lovely and quiet here. Is it much quieter up there? Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, bastard. Damn, it's a lot of snow. You all right? I don't understand how you're doing it. Carl, this is called... I... <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> you want to take a break? I'm not going to let it beat me. I like a walk, honestly. At home, I'm always walking. It's just relaxing. But you can't do that here. It's just, it's just really hard work. Five foot snow shouldn't be being walked in. Just get up and keep rolling. You can do it. Yeah. Use your poles. Use, use your poles. You all right? That's yeah. a lot of snow. Oh, you're fucking busted. <laughs> That's a lot. Surely it's good to keep your energy in case you need it. If a polar bear comes around the corner, you've got to wrestle it. You've got no energy because <laughs> you've been wading through five foot snow. You OK? Oh, fucking hell. Hang on a minute. I kept saying, do we have to go through this five foot snow? He's going, yeah, you love it. It's a good life lesson or whatever. Are you all right? <laughs> life lesson. Yeah, it's just yeah, flipped right. over. It's never going to come in handy, that. Because I know if it was like that at home, you'd go, right, let's stay in. Columbo box set. In for the day. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's what? Day. what happened? The sleigh thing's tipped over. Do you want help? No, no, it's all right. I can sure. do this. Carl. Ah. I'll come back and help. If... No, don't be coming back. <laughs> Those are my skis. <laughs> don't lose them. <laughs> <laughs> This is awesome. Uh, you okay, bud? Yeah, I've sorted it. You all right? <laughs> yeah. What? You're using a lot of my breath up. You keep saying you're all right. I've got to say, yeah. <laughs> I'm using my breath up. Okay. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking lunatic. Uh, <laughs> that, you're using all my breath up. <laughs> Can you drink this? Uh, yes. It's clean. There's no cleaner snow in the world. Is that OK? Yeah. I was dying of thirst. Have you got any water, Marty? No, we haven't got room for it. It weighs stuff. Well, hang on a minute. I'm carrying a spade here that we're not using. I think, <laughs> I think water's more useful than walking around with a shovel. And when do you use that? I was in five foot snow. Can I get the shovel? No, you don't need it yet. When, at what point, <laughs> how deep does something have to be before you go get the shovel out? That's a lot I'm of snow. Worried. If you try to I'm going in Marty's footsteps if he's been on dog shit. Let's roll! You should be walking in there. I don't know where they're going. Where are they going to the coastline? I don't know. You should have snowshoes, those big snowshoes. At the end of the day, it's like going on a slide. But if you do that as a grown man, people go, look at that knobhead on a slide. It's a grown man, what's he doing on a slide? But for me, it's the same. Let's see if you've got skis on. Follow me. You coming? Yeah, I'm Hold coming. Tight. Come on, keep your legs together. Fucking okay, hell. Grow up. <laughs> Stop messing about on hills. Okay, and then you go up you go up a hill sideways. It's hard with a sled and a pack, I know. You know I've never skied. Well, I didn't know that, but now we're learning. I mean, even Eddie Eagle struggled, didn't he? And he was an Olympic fella. Concentrate. Nice and perfect. Kind of Skis together. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. We should stop saying that. That's annoying me. Everything's awesome. I've got no sort of point as to judge things by anymore. Where are you going? Follow me. We had a burger. It's awesome. Well, it's a burger. Let's calm down. <laughs> Say it's all right. It's nice. It's a good burger. He raves about everything. Don't panic. You're good. You're good. Awesome. That was amazing. Nice. It's not easy. <sighs> We're over a mile away from where we're spending the night, and we will be getting back when it's dark. So we have to be uh, focused. I am. Just spending the awesome. night out there. It's all 
downhill. Woo! Fucking dead right there. Since I got off the plane, it's been downhill. <laughs> <laughs> What's the toilet situation? Uh, there is no toilet. <laughs> but, but there is. There's a room for it. You've, you've gone to the trouble of having the room. All well, that's, the... that's just for changing your privacy. We're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but you don't need privacy. Okay, number one, you can just do over yeah, there. Yeah, that's not a problem. Okay, number two, you make yourself a a nice a nice wedged toilet paper. Ah! <laughs> you are kidding. I'm not joking. You can have this one. Hang on now, earlier you were going on about me. Sure, you keep your gloves on, and you've just told me to wipe your ass with a chalk ice, basically. And hang on a minute, I've just remembered you had me eating it over there. <laughs> you said, yeah, the cleanest snow in the world. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> My hands are so cold, I can't even play. Hey, shit, you're gonna piss I wrote snow. this song, you ready? Uh, it goes like this. Dude. I really care about you. Oh, yeah. I'm a loon now. When you're caribou. Around, <laughs> it's hard for me to bear, because I love you so dear. I really care about you. Your salmon, special <laughs> to me. Oh my God! <laughs> Why is he singing them, serenading them? His show is nothing like this. Though. <laughs> Somewhat <laughs> like it. it was wilderness. We're not for ages. Outdoors. You can leave the door open if you want, because it makes no difference. It's freezing. <laughs> Never known a night like it. I'm slapped, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's cozy. Isn't it? That's the problem. I ate that, because that's what I mean. People at home will be going, looks lovely, that. It's the sort of thing you see in Switzerland. Nice sort of log cottage. <laughs> it's not. There's no insulation whatsoever. It's a shed, really, <laughs> which, which are fine when they're at home. And you're just growing tomatoes in it or something. But when you try to sleep in it, you've got a heater there that doesn't work. Pointless, that. Doesn't do anything. You've got a vac in the corner. Of all the things you need in here, <laughs> heating is essential. <laughs> Unless they sort of think, vac up, you warm up. It's freezing. <laughs> Why they ain't got no heating? I'm doing all this, getting all dressed up like this, and you're thinking, oh, he's out on the, on the road again, getting out in the thick of it. I want to come out and brush my teeth. <laughs> uh, Hi, mate. How's it going? You better watch out. Uh, it's fucking freezing. <laughs> Is it? Well, I, I, I looked at the forecast where you are, and it's a little day like. Minus three, minus two. Right. Well, what, what do you mean now? <laughs> if that if that's the temperature at home, you'd be going, oh, nippy today, innit? You certainly wouldn't go for a walk. I was out in it yesterday for about nine hours, having a wander through five <laughs> foot well, snow. It's lovely here. It's about 60 degrees here. We just walked into uh, high game. We just walked uh, around. Going to get a cappuccino or skim it with latte or something like the spring. He's so rubbing it in. To, uh, now. Do you know how, like, normally you wake up and it's like, oh, well, I, I, I need a wee or I need to get a drink, yeah. I'm thirsty. I got up at about two o'clock because I needed to put my hat on. <laughs> so that's that's what it's like here. It's not relaxing. That's meant to be like the little relaxing bit. Listen, stop complaining. Um, because I've arranged for you to go and finally meet some Eskimos. Uh, and it's in a little town called Barrow, which is the most northerly point in Alaska. I've arranged a little ice road trucker to take you there. All right. See you later. See you later. There. For a place to live, I'd call it the armpit of the universe. It's not bad. It'd be way on my bottom of the list of where I'd want to live. <laughs> and armpit then the people of the universe. Barrel, they're out there on their hunting trips and stuff. They got polar bears to contend with. They could be sleeping in their ice shelter there, and a polar bear come along and just all of a sudden start digging them out. Digging what out? Digging them out of their shelter. People. <laughs> yeah. Anything up there that moves or smells is food to a polar bear. Anything. They'd actually dig you out. They will, if you're in a shelter, yeah, they'll dig you right out of there. Well, probably that's why not many people stay in igloos now, isn't it? I mean, that's like a fridge full yeah. of food. It's, it's, like a fridge, it it's like a fridge with food, that's it. It'll be a, a life-changing experience, Point Barrel. Well, say, like, if you, if you were allowed to pick off this bucket list, what would you pick? You could do anything. Oh. You could see anything, eat anything. Maybe go to Australia or... You know, travel around the world a bit, but it sure wouldn't be Point Barrow. 
<laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> it is the armpit of the universe. <laughs> Let's go and see these Eskimos then, aren't they? It's about putting the washing out, is it? Early. He's sitting that stuff. How's the bell? What are you doing? It's cold. Come on in. Your name? Carl. Carl. Ah. Or Kunan. Yeah. Kunan. Jamie. Jamie. Welcome to Top of the World. Yeah, yeah. no, that's... Yeah. Yeah, you can't get any more on top, can you? Right on the top. Right. Freezing. Heat's yeah. meant to rise. Huh? Doesn't hear. Okay. Freeze. Yeah. <laughs> well, take my shoes off. Uh, come here and yap. If you want to. Only yeah. if you want to. Yeah. What's your reason to come to Barrow, Alaska? To see a whale. Oh, goodness. Big whale. I, I just want to see one. Just Would see you like one. to see Maktuk? Maktuk. 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 Are you hungry? A little bit peckish. Is this like the, 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 the Eskimo version of Golden Girls? What's going on? <laughs> That's whale. Yeah, it is whale. Let's have a look. Bow whale. whale. Hmm. We eat it fresh or eat it frozen. It's just that when I said I came here to see whale, hmm. I meant swimming, not in a carrier bag. I'll have just a small, a small oh, yeah, piece. Sure. Normally, if I have meat, it's cooked, it's warm. They're having like just taking stuff out of a freezer and sucking on it. Like a little little buffet then to that, just open is the fridge, what is suck on some no, processed it. peas and a bit of meat. Everything's like having an ice pop here. It has a fishy taste. Yeah, fishy it's smell. Very delicious. <laughs> you can even... How is it? Can you have that? <laughs> How is it? <laughs> like, they season it? Or they just cut it off chunks of the whale. I like they just it. cut it. Some frozen whale. Oh, it's chewy, isn't it? Oh. Okay, here. Oh. You gave him another piece? <laughs> yeah. And then he finished the first? Frozen. We eat it frozen. Mm. Why, why do you have an oven? You have an oven, but everything's cold. I don't mind. Hey? What's up with her now? What's happened? <laughs> I saw that they were old, I thought, great, <laughs> you know, I can just sit down, they'll probably nod off Damn, after a bit, so all the excitement far. of having Close a visitor. And uh, she said, no, I've got, I've got plans, I'm going to take you out. And I was thinking, maybe bingo, or something like that with her age, or a bit of shopping, or just something that old people do. It's nice! The what? The weather! Feet are freezing. Yeah! Yes, yeah, no more beautiful. But it's OK! Not really. She's got one of them snow bikes. She says, come on, we go, I'm going to take you to Point Barrow. All right, no helmet or anything. I'm thinking, Jesus, look at her. She's got these bifocals on. She shouldn't really be on the road. <laughs> do you have to have a licence for one of these? What? I said, do you have to have a licence to drive one of these? She couldn't hear me, I was trying to talk to her. If I need to have a wee... What's that? Are there toilets? <laughs> What's that? on this side, that side, trying to get through to her ears. Are there toilets at Point Barrow? <laughs> Her eyes are knackered. <laughs> she her ears are crap. She was in charge of the bike. She's giving me a headache. <laughs> she kept saying, oh, it's going to be so great, you know, when we get to Point Barrow. I don't know what it is. I've never heard of it. Yay! Point Barrow! This is it. This is it. What? Is this it? This should be yeah. Well, there's no <laughs> else here. What is this? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes, nice. It's the same as where we were. What that? I said it's the same as where we were. Oh. <laughs> I guess that's the top of the world. Welcome to Point Barrow. Barrow? Point Barrow. Yay! That's it. Yeah. It's a northernmost point in the whole wide world, wow. right here. All this is ice. Yeah. When you come here, what do you do? Get my thermos, but I didn't bring one. You didn't bring what? Thermos bottle. 
Did you did you say you'd bring some tea? No, I thought there'd be something here. I thought they'd have a coffee. <laughs> coffee, tea, Oh, yeah, cake. I didn't bring any. Oh, brilliant. I know that saying, you're on top of the world, means you're over the moon, you're happy. Well, I am. It's freezing. I've got a snotty nose and my feet are going numb. Mm. Sure, I've got frostbite. I just thought there'd be more to it, that's all. Really, you did. <laughs> so, that would be a cafe. <laughs> like a tourist attraction. I've seen a lot of wild bones knocking about. Three people everywhere you look. They just dotted around, big massive whale bones. Yeah, like I think that's the problem bones. with eating whale. When you think about it, it's not like a chicken. Where you can just give the bones to a cat or stick it in the bin. You got a big massive bone about the size of a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> Everyone knows what you've had for your tea. It's out in the garden. Big massive bone. Can't get shut up. It's a big bone. Gee, Throw it back in the ocean. Like the whale chunks? Yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Do you know where we are? I'm like a, a, a glacier mint. I'm stood on top of an ice cube. You're complaining that it's a bit cold. You're complaining you're in the middle of nowhere. But I don't understand that you chose this trip. What did you think it was going to be like? <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I thought I was going to see a whale. And when I've seen a whale on the telly, it's normally a nice, calm ocean with the fin sticking out the top, his hole in its head <laughs> blurting some water out, and a nice <laughs> bit of music. Where I am now, I'm like in a giant fridge <laughs> that's got out of hand, is fucking freezing. But this is an experience, this is things to do before you die. It's not like it's dangerous, is it? Well, it is dangerous because there's polar bears knocking about. You are not going to be eaten by a polar bear. But when you had your medical, I found out that you didn't let them test you for testicular cancer or test your prostate, did you? No. No. But that's, that's... Why not? In the UK alone, more people die every year from prostate cancer and testicular cancer than being savaged by a polar bear. It's a bit of a weird yeah. time to bring it up when I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's one of the biggest killers, right? And that's just a simple test. So a doctor pops his finger up your anus and he goes, yep, you're all clear. And that's you relax for another year. Uh, I, I don't understand why you're suddenly caring about this now. I've got <laughs> little battery left on this phone. I'm wearing the battery out. If right. something happens, I'm dead. Right. So don't be worrying about me testicles. Right. Me right. <laughs> this doesn't happen on uh, Bruce Parry. Don't be worrying about my <laughs> testicles. I've got to go. <laughs> I'll see you later. All right. See you later. See you later. Yeah. I'm surprised you can get uh, service out of the island. <laughs> yeah. I'm never going to see a whale. What's the point <laughs> in this the program being in HD? It's a waste of time being in colour. <laughs> giving me a headache. <laughs> I don't understand it. How can you have all this and the sun? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> but that makes it worse, because it blinds you. But then again, if you live here and you go blind, you're not missing anything, are you? <laughs> you to look at anyway. I spoke to Ricky, he said, you know, don't be messing about making snowmen and all that. He said, get involved. You know, get some hands-on experience of what it's like living in that community. I'm Carl. I'm Rob. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm gonna have you come out with me and help me pick up some waste. And then I got the radio, they'll call me in if someone needs a what? bucket picked up or... Waste. Just any sort of rubbish, just someone calls you... Sewage. You know, from the toilet. Oh my god. I didn't realise part of, you know, no getting my hands on something, who's getting my hands on a load of shit. That's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Is that a day's worth? Uh, depends on the house. I'm gonna tilt and I'm gonna stand to the side. So right. if it splashes, I don't get hit. Oh my god. That's what they call it. Which sort of sounds nice, doesn't it? It sounds like something that someone might call the, the boyfriend or whatever, or girlfriend, honey bucket. But then when you see it. So there you go. Fast. You don't want to get splashed. It's, oh it's coming out. God. There you go. Good job. Oh God Almighty. Oh. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't understand why I always got that name. It's just a big bucket with bin bags of shit and piss in them. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> that smells my money. That was a lot of shit in that. It's heavy. <laughs> it? it can be. Sometimes they get filled to the rim. Oh! Every house has them, but there's still like a load of them that just have these honey buckets. Which yeah. plastic buckets, you stick the plastic really toilet seat it. on them, and you can just have them anywhere in your house. When I heard about it, I kind of thought, I quite like the idea of being at home, and no matter where, where you are in the house, you can have a shit. Because <laughs> sometimes it is annoying when <laughs> football's on or whatever, you have to wait till half time instead yeah. of just going, right. actually, just get the honey bucket, sit in front of the telly and do it. You don't need your sort of Sky Plus or anything here. Oh, Things to do before disgusting. you die. Jesus Christ. They leave all their shit outside in trash bags. They Next shit in trash bags. Let's gone as quick as we can. What's that load like? You think it's fine, like and then you disturb it. It looks like trash bags full Smell of shit and piss. Oh, don't do that again. Yeah! <laughs> People called him up. As we're driving along, his, his radio thing was going, going quick, did quick, no get to number 188 or whatever. And it's like, Jesus, what, why, what's the emergency? Oh, no, I need a honey bucket. What's wrong with yours? When you get there, you realise a bucket's been here, it hasn't been picked up, it's frozen. Frozen! The shit's frozen. Frozen! <laughs> when was it last picked up? The other day they forgot to pick it up, they didn't pick it up. Uh. It's but they've got nothing else to worry about. I mean, it's a weird, it's a weird worry, isn't it? That you've got a tub of shit you can't get rid of. But that's the only time I've seen an Eskimo animated here. Can I get a bucket? Yeah, you can have a bucket. That's you can have one that. time. Thank you. It's all right. Animated. Remember to tip me at Christmas. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Oh, man. Okay. They don't have toilets. Maybe the water freezes. I uh, thought it'd be fun if you did it by husky. But only use if they're treated well, if they want to pull you along. If not, walk, oh, all right? Don't shout on them. Don't hit them. Make sure they're fed. Make sure they're enjoying it. Don't make them do anything they don't want to do. Wow. Make sure their feet aren't sore. If they are, get them little shoes or something. All right? <laughs> See you later. Why you want to do this? Oh, all right. How's it going? Hey, you must be Carl. Yeah, Carl. I'm Bill Carter. Bill. Nice, nice to meet you. This is your team over here. Oh, man. This is Woodrow. He's your leader. He's in charge. He's in charge. He's Wood Woodrow. Woodrow. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. I'm, I'm going Wood. Hey. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Jesse. 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 Why is he so icy? Yeah. This one's Simon. Simon. Hi, right, Simon. Carl. Oh. It's like when you're at a wedding and everyone's going, this is Frank, the cousin, and it is, is you know, stepfather of the... And you, you kind of go, oh, right, yeah, and you think, a second later, it's out of your mind. I stink. You have to stand here and watch me. Stand here and watch me while I hook my dogs up. So they don't run away. You could have done this. It's like going round to a friend who's got a baby, and it makes me realise I don't want one. <laughs> uh, what was on his hand? Right, no, so I got uh, work a bit. No instructions shit. really. It was like use the anchor to stop it, use the brake to slow it down. But that's not enough, an is it? Can I still pulling me? I've got my foot on the brake. Keep your feet on the brake. Fucking hell! I'm gonna let go. Fuck me! <laughs> Fuck off! Hold on! <laughs> He's in Woodrow. He better not fall off. Okay, now he's on hump. Oh, yeah, don't fall off. He reminded me of being in a supermarket when you jump on the trolley. You can do all that, and I'm pretty good at that. It's the same rush. You sort of know you're in no control whatsoever. <laughs> Slow down, you twat. <laughs> what sort of lake is this? Easy boys. Easy boys. <laughs> Fucking stop. Stop. I said, when the dogs get old, what do they do? And they still sort of, you know, they just retire them. Now, I don't know if that means someone goes into a dog's home and goes, can I have this dog? And they've got no idea and they chuck a ball and never see it again. I don't know how it works. Where's the five foot snow today? They don't listen at all. <laughs> Shouting the name. Foot on the brake, that brake does nothing. We're on ice. A brake on ice does not work. It's just sliding along. Looks like you were doing all right there. Yeah. Oh, you fuck! <laughs> Stop! You fucking shit! Stop! 
Fucking stop! Where are we meant to be going? I thought you said this is a lake. It's a river. Well, what's all this here? It's open water. You're fine. Can we just stop a minute? Yeah. See, they don't listen, do they? It seems to be getting rougher. They're not taking any notice. That brake doesn't work. The pad thing is a waste of time. My legs are killing me, my arms are hurting. What? But I've never had a go on one. You're taking me through rivers and shit. What else is there? <laughs> Slow. Easy, boys. How many hours are we doing? How many hours are we doing? <laughs> How many hours? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> He's like, you're taking me through rivers and shit. <laughs> Finally get some signal, put the phone on, a couple of messages. You think, oh, that's nice. Sue's been missing me, thinking Suzanne might have been in touch. Or my mum and dad, or something like that. First message comes up, it's from Ricky, just asking me if the doctor's been round yet. Damn. He's still going on about this thing about having a finger up the arse. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Damn. It is not going to happen, especially not on telly. I certainly don't want to have it done here. It's freezing weather, the doctor's hands will be cold. It's the last thing I want. I think I've got a temperature as it is. It's hard to tell because it's so cold. <laughs> that would be uncomfortable. Oh, a, co a cold oh. finger. All right, mate, how's it going? Oh, well, I'm fine, mate. What are you speaking to me from? Um, just in the middle of nowhere. I came all this way to see a whale. I have, I, all, uh, the only whales I've seen are dead ones on roundabouts. They seem to stick the bones everywhere. Yeah, I know you're supposed to be seeing a whale, but it seems mad when you're there to not, you know, stop and see some um, glaciers as well at the same time. But, yeah. but I've, I've, Steve, honestly, I've seen <laughs> nothing but snow and ice since I've been here. I don't need to see any more. It's madness. The glaciers are melting really rapidly. I mean, they're going at the rate of something like 500 metres a year. Some of them are melting. 100 metres a day. Is it on the way to the whale thing? It's sort of on the way, you know, they're in the water, the whales are in the water. It's a water-related experience. Alright. Enjoy it. <laughs> I don't know Steve's sort of making a big deal about it, like, before they've gone. I don't think they'll go, it's still freezing here. Global warming. Look at the amount of kit I've got on. My auntie Nora was worried about the ice melting. She just saw that meant all ice gone. She was thinking, what am I going to do, you know, with my whiskey and coke? It's like, no, no, it's just a mountain. She's like, oh, whatever. Yeah. You might see a whale. I mean, it looks good. I like, I like the way it looks. Good colour and everything, but I don't know what, yeah. what Steve wants me to get from this. And he wants you to appreciate the damage that global warming's doing. Yeah, it's not me who wants to be told, it's Suzanne at home. She's into wasting energy. <laughs> air dryer, doing her air all the time. I, I don't do that. I am energy efficient, because I'm bald. <laughs> not wasting hot water, washing my hair. No air dryer. If she cared so much, shave her head. Uh... <laughs> what are they doing messing about at the back? I've seen little boats being put in. Steve wanted you to get close. Damn. So we're in glacier water. How close do I need to get? I don't... I, I... Is he about to... It's just getting silly. It's dicey, this. Proper... Damn. <laughs> Hell nah. He's about Finding to get close there, to that. Swimming about and that goes off. Causes a wave, dead. Yeah. <laughs> no. He's getting in the water? That's the water right Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Hey, Carl. Yeah? You're meant to be getting in the water. <sighs> What's my hope? <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> if there was a whale in there, it'd be a, a reason to get in. Have a look. There's nothing in there. What's this about? Hey? Floating about like a crisp packet. <laughs> That's dangerous. What if one of them things came down? Uh, he's stuck. 
Yeah, I've seen whales sense. on the telly. Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing one in real life before they die out. That's what I'm always hearing. They might not be around for much longer. I, see I suppose you go out of your way to see it, don't you? It's like your gran, she's in hospital. You go, oh, she's got a week left to live. You go out of your way. It's not always a great time to see them, because they're in a bit of a mood. But you sort of go out of your way, and that's what I'm doing. I'm going out of my way a bit here to see something before it dies. <laughs> before it dies. Hello? All right. I'm going. I'm just, uh, I'm just drained, to be honest. Well, listen, don't get ill. We need to have a proper medical. You know what I'm talking about. We need to make sure your prostate and your testicles are OK. Like I say, I haven't bumped into any doctors. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, that hasn't happened. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, well, uh... Well, you have to make sure they are real doctors. <laughs> yeah. With Dr. Fox, never again. Dr. Right. Fox. Now today, you're gonna go and see what you actually came for in the first place. Whale watching. Um, I've sorted a boat for you. Now it's not a tourist boat. You know, you're quite privileged again. You're not just being packed in with all the the, the general hunters. Um, it's a, a, a working fishing boat. Yeah. And, um, uh, my man Brian, who look after you. So once again, an absolute money can't buy experience for you, Carl Pilkington. And my pleasure. Enjoy, man. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Is he getting in the water? Yeah, I'm not bothered about seeing lots. I just want to see a big one. I want something that makes me go, bloody hell. What is that doing there? You know, look at the size of that. That's what I want. I'm into fish. I don't like eating them, but there's a lot of weird stuff in that ocean. There's one... Uh, Lantern fish it has a has a light bulb on its head, like a, a thing, because it's so deep down in the dark. And there was a bloke who was into fish. He got one, had it in a fish tank, and he used it to read his book by at night. You never think of a fish as being handy. When Suzanne wants a fish, I always go, "What's the point? They don't do anything." But I'd have one of them. He did not do that. Because I get sick of leaving the light on and stuff. I'm uh, forever going round turning switches off. Hey, Carl. <laughs> Time to uh, chop chop. Give the guys a hand. Grab them a pair of coveralls or something. What? Size large. Damn. It stinks. How long are you out for? Until just the night. <laughs> the night? Pretty clean on the inside. Just the outside, it's got fish oil on it. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Things to do before you die, yeah? And here's the fun part. Watch that knife in your hand there, I don't want to... Oh, someone ran over it. Well, I have never it... seen an octopus that looks like that. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> is it inside out or what? What's that? It looks like it's a bum bag. Yeah, it has been turned inside out. So, chop, chop. Move your hands, baby. Move your hands. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Chop, chop. I wanted to see a whale. I didn't know I was doing this. I feel a bit sick already. I tell you what, he's pacing about out there like a madman. <laughs> chop, chop. <laughs> Okay, get these guys all good and smashed up. Time to make hay, gentlemen. Just got to get some air. We can't do this. He said we're out all night. There's no way I can do this all night. It's really <laughs> bobbing up and down now. Hell no. I don't know who to be angry at. That, him up there, or Ricky, or what? That's <laughs> bad, baby. Yeah. <laughs> he about to throw up. Fucking get out of me if you want to be sick. <laughs> Received. 6.20 a.m. Listen, I'm stuck here like a I've got another boat. It's going dark. I've been on it for Christ knows how long. Oh. It's doing its deadly. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh. I'm over me and fishermen's friends. And I'm fucking still... Ah. Anyway. Is he better inside or out? Down, 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 man. I don't want to be a fisherman. I never said I wanted to do anything like this. <laughs> It's not worth it. All this pissing about for a fish. Zach Afron. Fuck's sake. King Kong. <laughs> you got movies? It's not even funny, this. What's wrong with this? Why is there no picture but the sound on?
Does this tally even work? It's driving me insane. The captain gonna come get him. <laughs> Tell him to get back to work. What's going on, man? Can you put the tally on, for me, please? Can you put the tally on, for me, please? Put the tally on, man. I don't want to <laughs> do fish. We never see that with rank it on on the lally. I'm not cutting any more fish. Get your rank it out, then. No, no. Take it out, man. Oh, I don't know. That's too bad, man. I didn't want to. I didn't come to cut fish. Put on the lally. Yeah, can you King put the tally on? It's insane. The longest intro. Oh, come on. <laughs> he watching movies on the boat. Uh. Oh. I don't want to come. I can't just be sick. <laughs> it's horrible. What? <laughs> what? What? There's some whales. Seriously? Yeah, there's some whales in there. Whereabouts? Whales? He's I can't missing them. Time up there. <laughs> Get him to go. <laughs> He's missing the whales. Down. There, there, up ahead. See that? See the air coming out? <laughs> Damn. I'm going to see them from down that car. He missed it. So we were right, close. There, there. Ah. Oh, there's a fin. There's a fin thing. There's a tail and all. He looks sick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <sighs> All right. Um, I hope you enjoyed the whales. Amazing. Um, I just wanted to put your mind at rest. Um, I know you missed that prostate exam, but do not worry. I've arranged for you to have one as soon as you get back in England. So, um, yeah. yeah, relax. All right, well, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> he about to get that exam, whether you like it or not. Yeah, Ricky will be fighting after that one, man. <laughs> as soon as I got back, man. There's no way ah. that I would have continued to work and chop up the octopus and shit. Yeah, it looked like they were going to chop him up if he didn't help. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I would have been trying to watch a movie, too. I'm not here for this. I'm not here to help y'all work. I'm not getting my cut. I'm not getting a cut to this money. Shit. No. No, the things Ricky makes him do just to enjoy a tiny bit. Yeah. But at least he saw the whales. Man. At least at the end, he got to see the whales. Yes. At first, I thought, I thought he wasn't going to be able to um, stand yeah. up <laughs> or move. <laughs> it looked like he was about to throw up. But I guess he couldn't get nothing to come out. Every step he took, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, so near yeah, the whales, he saw them from, uh, from a distance. Yeah. But Went great to, episode. Uh, he can, there's a lot of wonders. He went to Point Barrow, the most northern part of the yeah, world. Yeah, that was exciting. It's pretty dope. The Eskimos and ate the whale. That. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't eat the whale. There's no way I would eat the damn whale. Raw, raw, frozen whale. Can we raw, cook this? Raw and frozen. Yeah, like you said, you got an oven right there. Let's just heat it up. Let's yeah, put it on yeah, the grill man. or something. Imagine crispy whale is pretty good. Like fried whale. Man, it's gotta be like some fried fish type of thing. You know what I'm saying? It's fried got a lot of anything. oils in it. You know what I'm saying? Anything fried is good. Hmm. Yeah. Anyone with old dude, the dude, the uh, wilderness guy. Yeah, the wilderness guy. Yeah, man, I've seen him on another show. I think he does recently like a show where like he takes people out like 
What's his broken name? Broken Families Out. I can't think of his name, but it takes broken families out in the wilderness and like camps and stuff and brings them back together. Okay. I think that's what he does now. At least that's what I've seen recently, I think. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why they were out there in five feet of snow. <laughs> like what they expect to get accomplished in that five feet of snow. And then no toilets. <laughs> You got no yeah. toilet. It's like you're living in the shed. It's like no. no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's what you call that shit. <laughs> you said you think it'd be like a nice place in Switzerland. It's insulated. No. <laughs> <laughs> like no reason. Just keep the door open. <laughs> shit, it's just as cold as it is inside. As it is out. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, man. I yeah. feel it, man. Episode four. Pretty dope. <laughs> got a lot done in episode four too. Lie down and put through.